Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Space Engineers. Uh, for the, ever since last episode, I have been hunting around everywhere trying to find uranium, and I have not been having any luck. As you can see by the beacons all over the place, well, GPS markers. I have been looking around, I haven't labeled everything, but I must have looked at least 300 asteroids. Uh, for the first part, it was me just going around jetpack and all that stuff, because I didn't have this thing refillable at the time. And I'd basically go out until my suit power ran low and I'd come back and try again. I wasn't marking everything, but I had been quite a few places. But my biggest thing was I was going by what I saw on the surface, and usually that's what I can do. And I'd go and take a close look. Okay, well, that's actually silicon, that's actually nickel. Uh, but I never really thoroughly checked all the, the asteroids. I did, have, however, have an incident where I ran out of power. And I died, and I spawned back down there, actually right there, and I had to come back up here, so I made myself a miner, and I brought the miner up here, and got some hydrogen production going up here, and got about a quarter of a tank, so I do have some fuel, and I'm using that to scout around, because it's got the ore detector on it, but uh, again, I haven't been going as close to the asteroids as I could have, because apparently this, uh, the uranium may be the, the one asteroid I found on the... The server we were on might have been like just a really lucky ultra rare find because apparently this st stuff is ultra rare now. It uh, has a chance of uh, spawning like in the center of large asteroids or uh, for instance, well that's a, this isn't Minecraft, you can't shift on edges and walk off, walk to the edge. It's a good thing I got a jetpack though. Or instance, uh, for instance, like this uh, cluster over here that it might show up in the outer edges, but it sounds like it might be something that's deeper inside and possibly not exposed on the surface, which means I'll have to use a larger ore detector. I did try to s sort of hang one off the docking port there, but it wasn't wasn't actually doing anything. I, I'm guessing either I didn't have an antenna on it or... Uh, or detectors won't actually work unless there's a cockpit attached to, attached to the grid, which could have been. But anyways, uh, since I don't have any uranium right now, I really can't be moving on to the next step, and that would be going to the the moon. So Somewhere over here. Where is that? Where are you? You're hiding on me. There you are. Yeah, I wanted to get the jump drive going today, but unfortunately, because I have, can't find the uranium, I can't actually make the damn thing. I probably could, but think of how long it would take to charge on solar panels. But speaking of solar panels, today we're going to, instead of trying to worry about uranium, I'm going to try to do that between episodes. Um, if I find it, I find it. If I don't, I don't. We'll find something to build. But today we have a space station we got to finish working on. Uh, one of the issues we do have is, or I have, is where I put these solar panels. Uh, I am going to be taking the solar panels off. I hope I have enough sp inventory space for all this. And then I want to ex sort of expand this platform a little bit, maybe come around the side there. Eventually, I want to have the space station to completely encapsulate the top cap here. So that'll actually be a feature inside the station. I've got ideas for these little floating sections here, too, eventually down the road. But anyways, uh, yeah, I'm going to take this off, and then uh, at the end, it's going to be boxed off. But instead of having the solar panels go on a, on a beam this way, I'm going to have two beams, one branching this way, one branching this way, and then I'll do what I was talking about in the last episode where I have solar panels on the side and on the bottom so they get best exposure to the sun, and we'll add a few more batteries. But I do have to take this stuff off, so let me get all this worked out, and, uh, yeah, and I'll uh, bring you back when I've got something different. Alright, so I've got some sort of layout set up. Yeah, I, would, uh, I actually went around and I put a cap around the, the whole, or a platform around the whole asteroid here. Uh, gravity's turned off because I don't know how many solar panels right now. But we have this little, little mound here we'll have in the station. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it, but I'm sure I'll figure something out. Uh, I had a bit of an incident with the paint bucket. I was painting the floor. It's like, oh, I'm going to do the whole grid of white. Yeah, that makes sense. And I forgot that I had the machine hooked up there. Fortunately, that's a separate grid, so I didn't paint that. But anyways, yeah, this is what I've got so far. So I've got an area going around. Oh, i got to add a block over here. And I just realized that. But yeah, area going around there. Oh, I might have steel plates anyways. And 
But then going up to here, we're gonna actually get these in right now, even though it's dark in, dark out. But I try to go a bit of a pattern. Um, these openings here, and those sort of channels going towards the the asteroid, are gonna be glass. The rest of it's all gonna be blocks. Uh, this area here, I might try to pressurize. I yeah, probably will. Not that it really matters. And then probably that area in the back is going to be for probably ship landing, something like that. I have no idea. Uh, there's going to be a lot more stuff being added to the station over time. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be an ongoing project. So now for the solar panels. Uh, what I want to do... Because it will still get light there. I'm trying to think here. The sun comes up this side. Okay, I think the best way to do this would be something like this. If I had the right parts on me. Yeah, like that. And let me get some graders and I'll see if figure this one out. Okay. So this actually makes a solar panel, so I decided to throw four more on there, so I th believe I have 24, which is pretty good. Uh, we'll have to get some batteries down somewhere, but let's fill in these holes. Uh, I do need to get some glass down here. Uh, basically what I'm going to do is have a glass on top. I'm hoping, good, the tinted side is down. So that's what I'm going to do with the top here. I'm going to cover all this up with glass. And that way I, I don't fall through and I certainly don't hit, hurt myself flying too low and getting caught in one of the holes. So anyways, uh, yeah, let me do this and then I'll bring you back for the next step. Okay, so I did get some of the plates filled in, or the blocks. Uh, I don't need a lot of plates for that. I might have to do that off camera. I do have a fair bit of iron. There is actually a couple of deposits down here, so i've got more iron than i'll ever need but what i want to do is i actually want to get uh, some batteries set up in the front here uh gap's actually bigger than i thought it was no oh well. but we're going to also put a beacon in here too just because we can and i need steel plates for it uh, give me a second okay let's try this again all right so we'll throw a beacon in the middle uh, don't know which way i want it Put it that way, I like how they actually have to put beacon on it. And just in case you forgot what the big bright light was. So one, two, three, four. Yeah, we'll do four, I guess. I was gonna fill it right to the solar panel, but uh, yeah, I may as well. One, two, three, four. Just means more uh, power cells I gotta make, which isn't a problem. Let's do it. Five, six, five, six. Oops. That one doesn't go there or there. I've du double clicked before, but I've never triple clicked. So it's going to take me a second to fill these in. So I'm going to do that after I have everything, everything assembled, crafted, what have you. So let me be right back. And just like so. So I have four, sorry, 12 batteries. Very nice. 12 batteries. Uh, you got a first, third person. Thank you. Uh, 12 batteries at 4 megawatts, that's 48 megawatts of power storage. Uh, I will be taking these ones down, because we don't need them here, they're actually completely depleted anyways. More or less. Let's get out of here, get some free scrap while we're at it. Sure, why not. Okay, now I wanna, I wanna move some stuff around. Uh, I have thought about what I was going to do for this area here. I mean, uh, here we go, get a better view. Uh, I think this area over here is where ships are going to be landing. I may end up setting up uh, like docking ports here, here, and maybe one over here for a bigger ship. We'll see. I don't know how many I'm going to have here. Currently, I have two ships. If I die and respawn down there again, there's going to be three ships up here, and I plan on building a fourth ship uh, eventually. Gotta find that uranium first. But anyways, so yeah, and uh, as far as this little island goes, I have already thought about it. I want to try to get at least four of the big tanks going for hydrogen. And maybe, maybe we'll have them just sort of in the back here, so like a storage compound for instance. 
Yeah, it's possible. I could even have the refinery back there too, just for the sake of it. And I, I've thought about it. I'm gonna actually try to enclose this entire place off eventually. Not this episode, God no. It's a lot of glass to make, but close it off and even try to pressurize it with this this ash wool chunk of the asteroid. Uh, it's gonna be an interesting test to see if it'll actually work or not. Why does that look so weird? I have no idea. Oh, yeah, because <laughs> the grid goes this way. That's why I'm looking at it. It's like, why is that so wrong? And I didn't even occur to me it was 45 degrees. So that means I do have to get another block in there. But my theory is that the asteroid should actually be able to act as a sealable area. But that's, that's my theory. What am I stuck on? I have no idea. I have to my keyboard act up again. Oh, good old Bluetooth. But yeah, so that's what I was thinking about that. Now, whether or not it actually works, I have no idea. It doesn't matter because... Ah, stupid keyboard. Ah, hang on. Surprisingly, banging it off the desk works. Yes, I know it's time for a new keyboard. But yeah, yeah, that's what I was thinking, trying to fill it in. I don't know how many blocks this is up, maybe... A4 or something. I don't know, but that's something we will do in time. Uh, I do have my storage I have to move here. Oh, we got a few more blocks I gotta put in just in case I miss them. I love the sound of this refinery in zero G. One just dull rumble. Okay, so uh, that tank still has a lot of hydrogen in it, unfortunately. Let's see what we've got in here. Oh, uh, yeah, one and a quarter. Oh well. Let's actually do get that set up. I gotta get my fill up my energy. Uh, just keep an eye out, make sure I've cut all these blocks. All right, so I'm gonna charge up, and I shall get some tanks up, and I'll bring you back. Okay, so there we go. Got four tanks there, and I'm thinking about it. We're probably gonna get some H2O2 generators in here with a uh, preload storage. Or a, a buffer, a storage buffer, yes. And I don't know why, but my H2O2 generators always have to be a, some sort of blue. I don't know why that is. But anyways, uh, let's see what best place to do this. Hmm. Let's actually do this a little differently this time. Let's do this. Here. Hmm. I think if I want to stand these up or not. Sure, I'll we'll do, do it that way. Do it that way, and then we'll throw a small container on here. Just for hopper's sake. Or not hopper, uh, You know what I mean. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to put a container here. And then I'll just get another tube coming out. Or even better yet. Let me grab a few parts. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm gonna take that out. I'm actually going to put a conveyor junction in there. Uh, where is it? Oh, there it is. Conveyor junction. I'm uh, done with the glass for now. And let's make this a nice white, just because that's not the right tool. Oh, hey, I had the right parts on me. Uh, not for those, though. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm gonna actually going to hook these up to the tanks. The tanks are all connected to themselves, so I shouldn't have to worry about that. So now we get, go ahead and get conveyors, which I probably had on my hotbar already. I just wasn't paying attention. So that one, uh, that one. And we have the junctions. So we're going to put an elbow here. It's going to be a four. I said a four. And yes, that's right. They're going orange. If I can actually get an orange. Oh, oh that's a nice orange right there. That screams hazard if, I, if I've never seen. 
that doesn't scream hazard, I don't know what that will. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, and then I was going to put a storage here. Get a small storage, and we'll make this one brown. Just because. No, oh, it's the wrong one. Like so, and we need a bigger box. Thank you. All right. So that is going to be that. I do have to get these all filled in, and then after that, we got to get an area for loading ice. And since I don't have a big ship, I think this will do just fine. Uh, I am thinking about now if I do close this off. I hate that auto auto run feature. I might actually have to close it off right here because I want to be able to fly in and out with the ships to dump stuff off there. I might even might even have a second connection here for the refinery. We shall see. But let me finish this up and we'll we shall see. No. Okay, there it is. So again, we got four H two. Uh, Four hydrogen tanks, uh, two H2O2 generators, a couple of conveyor connectors, hooking it up to a uh, loading station, which is going to have 156,000 liters of capacity for any excess ice that goes in there. Uh, what I will do, and I'm thinking about this now, is I'm actually going to put some oxygen tanks up here, uh, because we're going to need the oxygen anyways, especially if we're going to be producing hydrogen, we must produce the oxygen, and have it so we can pressurize our station. Uh, let's go ahead and get a nice lighter blue on this. Why not? Not disgustingly, eh, whatever. Something looks like oxygen. There we go, just like that. And I probably don't have enough to finish it all. No, I don't. So let me get that done, and then uh, we'll go and move the refinery and get that hooked up to the assembler's new location. Okay, there she is. Now that's all complete. Uh, the only thing I have left to do is I want to pressurize this area, just kind of make sure I have a conveyor going over here to an air vent. All right, so now to move the refinery. Wow, that's still going. Eh. I guess I'll have to build a second refinery for now. Yeah, I went and got a whole bunch of nickel and silicon. So, uh, yeah. So where is the refinery going to go? I think the refinery I'm going to put over here. Probably have it like right around here. Let's see if I have enough to even get the framework up. Okay, refinery. And I do. So I think maybe even right there. Yeah, I just want to make sure I have enough room to land another ship right about here. And that way everything can go right into the refinery. That might actually probably even go one closer to that one. So let's actually mark the location with a hole. If I fall down, I know that's where it's supposed to go. But we'll put that there instead. Okay, so that is that. Um, I gotta find out what side this conveyor was on too. I think it was here. And I might have to do the same thing as it did there. I have the pipe go underneath inside here and then probably outputting and going out that way I'm not too sure let me finish this up it's gonna take a lot of resources okay so there's the refinery now to cut a hole in the floor because what I'm gonna do I had to move it over one because I actually want this outside but there's gonna be a wall here so I won't be able to use that conveyor so the, the conveyor on the bottom it's where uh, all the output's going to come, and then uh, I'm thinking about it. You know, I did want to have the pipe up. Actually, we can, we can have it up. We'll just do it this way. It's going to be a bit of a mess, but that is fine. Let's go ahead and steal all that color. And then we'll place it like that. No, not like that. Oh, I hate that. Especially when I stand next to a refinery I just built. So then down here, it's going to be a straight and then an elbow. Which is going to go 
that way. Yes. Yes, go that way. I'll see if I can actually build this right to the, the rock. Probably not. I might have to dig it out a little bit. Oh, it should be okay, though. I do want to keep the, the mound the way it is. All right, and then this one is going to go uh, go a five, and a four, turn the right way. Like so. And then it connects to this conveyor here, or conveyor junction. Okay, that, 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 oh, that, and that. And of course, finish it off with one of these. And, and just like that, that's done. So now it's a matter of getting this over to the, the assembler, where the assembler's gonna be. So I'm thinking about having an airlock here. Like I said, this area is going to be pressurized. You might have a cryo chamber and a medical bay or medical room, whatever you're going to call it over there. So maybe the assembler will be over here with some storage. I don't know. I'm not Probably not going to be the automated storage that... Well, not the automated storage. Um, the self-organization system that I have set up. Because honestly, I don't know how often we're going to be up here. And this is full too. Damn it. Alright, well, let's just go ahead and build a new one then. Then we'll get that one back when we have the time. Alright, so the assembly is going to be the color that I want this thing. Not orange, that's for sure. You know what? Let's make it white. Just because. Okay, now I want. Somebody's gonna be over here. There's gonna be a wall here too. I gotta keep that in mind. All right. Let's see here. I guess that'll work because we do have a conveyor on the bottom. Good. And I got access to put the store the upgrades on there. Or do I? You know, let's bring this. Oh, bring it out one more. Uh, where did I have that? I had that on four. And that's just because uh, I won't be able to show you here. Yeah, that's just because of the conveyor. There is one outlet here. Now, uh, I've always wanted to see if you could actually put upgrades on just one slot, or if you had to actually have two slots on each one. Because it says you can have up to eight, but each upgrade uses two slots. And even then, how do you get eight on this if there's only four areas to connect to? And even then, it's like eight. Yeah, it is. It's eight. It uses eight slots, but it's not even eight on there. Two, four, six. Anyways, I'm mumbling to myself. Let me finish this up, and I'll get the conveyors hooked up. Okay, that is all hooked up now. As you can see, you got a nice big orange conveyor pipe going across here. It is all hooked up. Everything should be connected. Now, what I've done... I did sort of semi auto pulling, and that's basically that's basically I put a sort conveyor sorter in here, and I wanted to see if I could actually blacklist. No, I'm making making components. Uh, let's blacklist ingots because I do believe things like silicon, like silicon wafers. I think those would actually be considered ingots. Well, let's find out. Let's bring, put a whole bunch of stuff in there and see if it kicks it out into the storage. Yeah. And so far so good. Awesome. Weird spike leaves. Where are they all coming from? I think those are from the solar panels. I have no idea. But yeah, so that is that. So now realistic, realistically, all I should have to do is get a better mouse here, I know. But uh, yeah, as soon as I throw, put stuff into the, the refinery, it should get outputted into here. And then once it gets input, outputted into here, then we can print and it should, should automatically go into this chest automatically. 
actually no it won't because I didn't take a uh, drain all set up so I just want to make sure that that all stays good all right so we do have semi semi automation all I gotta do is drop the ice in here that'll make the hydrogen and oxygen for me which is a no-brainer uh, here put all the ores in here it goes through the refinery gets refined it gets sent over to the assembler so we can print and there we go so next step well realistically I guess the next step would be for me to get the floor filled in and then decide how I want to go about closing this area off uh, like I said I do want to close it off up to about here where there's going to be an airlock going out to whatever ship we may have uh, there's also going to be some sort of airlock over here as well because I do want to have the enclosure go up to the end of the, the rock sticking up so up to here the walls could be right up against the refinery so we're not going to be able to do too much about it but it's going to be on, on the outside and then that gives us room to drop our ores off, drop our ice off, we got hydrogen production uh, I do have to end up moving a, like a pipe from, from that like a conveyor over here somewhere to get it to venting in maybe I can go like almost like a total recall sort of style where I have like a pipe coming up with these vents coming out just sort of like all I don't know I'm not too sure what I'm trying to say all I know is I wanted my uranium today and I couldn't find it but yeah uh, definitely going to close this off afterwards and go from there but I'm going to call the episode here I do want to get this up and upload it to you guys I'm trying to get on a daily upload, but sometimes it doesn't always work out that way, especially when I can't find the resources that I absolutely need. But anyways, uh, thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave me a like, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.